And we are back with the chicken and the metal head. Let's go. Yay. Well, chickens have mohawks and I have a mohawk, so I guess I'm also metalhead. Or punk. I guess that's more punkish, but I've seen metalheads with mohawks. Let's go. One dragon 500, huh? Let me just check that I didn't miss anything right at the start. There we go. So I have to perfect the metal head guy. I don't know what the hell his moves are, so that's gonna be probably pretty hard the first time. Okay. I have to somehow get up here. From up there, I guess. Dumbass. Explosion. Let's collect as fast as we can. Whoops. Wow. Double kill. Dumbass. I think I'm eventually gonna get up there, so I should be able to go from there to here. Right now, I don't see any other way of getting to those locations, so we'll just continue. Hopefully we didn't miss anything. Howdy. Metalhead is all charged up to meet you. Attacking the power pole should disrupt his power supply. It, he just runs away. Okay, so far so good. Oh, there's more? I mean, there's more immediately, that's what I meant. I understand there's gonna be more. What's the point of this? No point whatsoever. Fine by me. Are those gonna come raining down from the sky or something? Are you kidding me? Why did it randomly start glowing red? I got hit on the second one for no fucking reason. I guess when he's charging it? How am I supposed to know when he's doing that? Who cares? I'll repeat the level. Charge the guy. No, I'm not going home yet. I'm just collecting. I need 500, right? But it was easier than I thought it was going to be. In terms of, like, just fighting him. I didn't mess up. Barely. All right.
I am clearly missing something. How in the blazes am I supposed to get over there? Were there like steps here that I didn't notice? No? Then how? There's clearly something behind that waterfall. And this is how. So I also need a key. Now we have to figure out how the other thing. This seems to have zero purpose, which is really unusual. Was it? I can't use it to get anywhere new. There's nothing I can glide to that would make it here. Let's try and figure out. It almost seems like I'm supposed to get somewhere up there. And then from there glide onto this one. Okay, I have an idea. Is there an entrance? There isn't, but I can see that thing up there. Confusing, that is. There's no entrance there. There is a hole. So maybe I can enter the sewers? That's the only thing I can think of. Oh, this is a fucked up jump. What a secret. That's a pretty freaking tough secret. I mean, nothing says that you have to collect everything in this game to proceed. You just have to free dragons and that's usually on the main path mostly. And you don't even have to free all dragons, right? So it's like, you don't really need to find this. So I guess it's still a kid's game, but it also has a bit of a challenge for the adults. You damn... Give me that. I'm losing too many lives. I need new lives. Must harvest the souls of the innocents. In order to make sparks happy. There we go. That's an unusual number, not gonna lie. Makes me a bit worried that I missed something somewhere. Keep hitting the damn wall. I'm unlocking that art gallery. Hopefully they didn't hire any of the uh, numbered uh, website, if you know what I mean. But I didn't hire anyone from there, because that's going to get rough. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go, perfect. Unlock. And give me exact, please. Exact is, please. Exact is. Gems in rough. Collect 500 gems in metalhead. Okay. I don't know why that's an achievement. I wish I could just like refresh the stage without exiting and entering. I know I can exit through the through the mm, sorry about that. Taking a magic, the menu, but 8,000. So if it's 14,000, that's 7,000 more. So basically crossed half the game. If that's kind of like, if what he said is actually how much I have to collect. And where do I keep all these gems? Gems. So yeah, we're just going to not even bother. They cannot hit me if I go here. Smash that guy, just no thank you. Don't want to deal with you at all. Oi. Asshole. 
There's a chicken somewhere around here, right? There it is. Why can't I collect that? What the hell is that? Go, save me up. Let's go. So I have to wait for them to go green. And how do I know when they turn... Like red. Like that. How do I know that? Oh, I see how. But they go slightly red before that. Damn, he's a fast boy. Stand in here. Thank you. Take my distance. There's only one pole left. Give me my skill point. Nice. That was easy. Once you know how it goes, it's not that tough. I mean, it's a kid's game after all. I know I keep saying that, but I keep forgetting that as well. But it is a fun game. That's all that matters to me. I like how the loadout is so freaking fast. I wish the load in was also fast. It'd make things more fun. Let's go. Next world. Give me. Oh, I feel much better now that so many dragons have been jumping the balloon, and I'll show you the Dreamweaver's world. Are you ready to go? Yes, I am. It's time for the nausea. The random spinning. While entering the duel. Why? What's the point of this? And it's even lagging. 160 FPS lag. Hey, Dream Weaver's World. Some weirdos. Mushrooms. 303 dragons, okay. What the hell is that? Two ways to go. I don't like that there's grass. But who cares what I like and what I don't want? What? Do I, what? I am. <clears throat> you saw nothing. What does this guy do? He turns himself into a fairy and this guy turns small. And someone's shooting them with something. That cannon? Get the fuck away from me. I don't know what's happening. Do I have to wait for them to turn? In order to hit them because they're otherwise too big? Maybe. I took two hits, which is not good. I need my mushrooms. How very rude. Haunted towers. Spooky. Ah, you're my guy, huh? Are you my guy? Who are you? What are you doing? What is your, like, issue? Well, who the fuck are you? Like, can you tell me something about the clocker guy? The fools you see in this world are invincible, but that does not mean they shouldn't be attacked. Sounds alright to me. Oh, that's what he does. How peculiar. I missed the gem. 
don't want to miss those. But do I even need him to do that? Because I can easily glide. So I'm not going back. Dark Passage. And that can hurt me too. These gems are blending in so well. and charge through three armored fools in a row. So you're armored fools and you're gatekeeping me. Guess I'll have to go use the canyon myself. Canyon. I'll for sure use a canyon. Jacques! Oh, that's, uh... That's John Chun's bird. That's what they're probably gatekeeping. They are armored fools. Are these guys just fools? Is that how that goes? Alright, I've missed two gems there. Hi, just fool. Thank you. I don't know if I can make that, so we'll go all the way around. Zikoma. Hello, Sparrow. Nicely done. I'll be done when I've toasted that nasty Nork. Indeed. Sneaky gems. So essentially, the hub world is kind of like a tutorial on what you're probably going to have to do around in all the worlds. Why did I go so high this time? I can basically fly almost to the other side. Now time to bully them. I'm not bothered with you just yet. I see. Just in case. Goddamn grass, it's really hard to see anything in it. In it, mate. Nothing behind the portal. I'm still lacking quite a few gems. Am I really gonna collect all of them down here? Seventy-four. Let's fire that. Nothing behind. Well, it is possible, depending on what kind of shit it brings me. Yep, that's it. Alright, we'll start at the beginning. But for now, I'll end the episode. See you then.